Well, the cabinets are coming along. And here's a little top tip. If you don't have raw plugs and you don't want to take it down to reinstall, drill and put the little plug thing in, you can try this. You drill your hole. The size of a hole I used was this. It's like a, like a seven. And so I use a nail that's slightly smaller. If I can focus, focus, there we go. So once I do that, and well, for this case, I add five of these. It's just galvanized wires. See, I'm just snipping the wire. Cool. So if you're either out of roll plugs or they're not cheap, like these are ridiculously expensive, like a bunch of these. Yeah, and those go in the wall, you pre-drill it, and then uh, from here to the end expands as this is pulled at the end of the thing, the little shaft, that tightens, and that pulls this little end piece, widen that, and it grabs on. It's great! However, these aren't long enough. They wouldn't give me enough bite. So, resorted to this one. And that... are really in there. It looks like so. But yeah, that, those are super handy if you can move what you're gonna secure. But I've already fit this up in there. I'm pretty happy with it. And I don't want to have to take it back down. And I got a couple more holes I drilled. It's coming along. And I spaced those out. There's a little special treat you guys will see later. Um, there's a specific reason those are spaced that way, uh, 60 centimeters. Okay. Well, good news is the, the doors look good. Bad news is the hinges are not hinges in here, but the Ikea ones land right about here. So outside of cutting this away and making this look real ugly and possibly not being able to fix it very well because that's... You know, it's a two, uh, what is it? Two by three. Yeah, it wasn't gonna work. But, once I get this one done, uh, I guess I can go on with the rest.